everyone. It is Wednesday, March 17th, 2021. And today we're going to be working with the three little pigs again, but we're going to be focusing on claims. Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so here are our writing standards. So produce understandable writing in which growth, order, and style are acceptable to task, purpose, and audience. Underneath that, introduce claim or claims and order the reasons and evidence clearly. And lastly, use a writing process to develop writing as needed by planning, drafting, revising, editing, rewriting, or trying a new approach. All right. So in our Ignite, okay, let's think about this. When people compliment a musician, sometimes they say, hmm, that girl has some serious chops. So using context clues, we can guess uh, that the idiom, right, a kind of metaphor, chops refers to the musician's talent, okay? But more than that, chops can also highlight someone's grit or guts. The fact that they are trying something bold and working hard at it. So in the same way, you all have some serious chops. We think you're all ready to move into the next step of writing essays. Today, you're going to start your first middle school essay on literary essays. I know some of you have written essays and some of you haven't, and that's okay, because we're going to practice the first steps together. The chops you'll gain from this unit will help you even in high school. So let's continue. Let's recall quickly from the few slides ago, what does it mean when I say chops? So. In the previous slides, what textual evidence can you find to help support your claim about what CHOPS means? So in the chat copy, you paste the sentence that you found that helps you define CHOPS. So hint, what does CHOPS refer to? All right, you should have finished that in the discussion on Schoology. Let's go ahead and move on. Today, we want to teach you that when writing an essay, it can help you start with a clear sense of structure in which you'll be writing. And then you simply put your content into the structure. Let's continue on with our chunk. So yesterday, I had, I had you review the story of the Three Little Pigs. Most people know this story. Making it, easy, making it an easy one for us to practice writing about our reading. So today, we're going to work on a flash draft. Or so today and tomorrow, we're going to be working on a flash draft of what we read. We're going to start a claim statement and develop that today. A claim statement begins your essay by telling your readers what you believe about a topic and the points you will make to support your beliefs. Tomorrow, we're going to, to work on boxes and bullets to flash draft. Let's continue on with our chunk. So before we continue to spam the chat, I want you to retell one detail that you remember from the story about the three little pigs. This detail should have to do with actions the characters took during the story. Think, especially about the third pig, okay? Because I think he's going to be our focus for today. So go ahead and answer that in the discussion on Schoology. All right, you should be finished with that. Let's go ahead and move on. So recalling what we just read, one pig built a house of straw, one pig built a house of sticks, and one pig built a house of bricks. That must have been a lot of work. Then the wolf came. The houses of the first two pigs failed with one blow from the wolf. Now, imagine you're the last pig 
with your siblings at your house. Do you recall what the third pig did? Answer in the chat. Once again, if you are asynchronous, answer in the discussion on Schoology. All right, you should be finished with that. Let's go ahead and move on. So once again, we're building a claim statement. We might start by naming our beliefs and showing actions from the text that support them. Some examples could be, I believe the third pig is very admirable in what he did. Why is he admirable? He outwitted the wolf by putting a boiling pot under the chimney that the wolf would eventually come down on. He also built a house that would not fall down so easily, unlike his other two siblings. So to finish this basic claim statement, we've got to come up with three reasons why the third pig is admirable. So here's an example. The third pig is an admirable character because A, because B, and most of all, because C. So here, you'll see A would be filled in right here. So the third pig is an admirable character because he works hard to build a safe home. B, because he is brave enough to take on his brothers or siblings. And most of all, because he outwits his enemy in the end. So once again, putting everything together now, okay? The third pig is an admirable character because he works hard to build a safe home. He is brave enough to take in his brothers, and he outwits his enemy in the end. So let's check in. Put a thumbs up in the chat if you understand how we created our claim statement. And put a thumbs down if you're still a little confused. All right. So for your review, I want you to practice making your own claims. I want you to pick a favorite food or dessert and come up with three claims as to why it is your favorite. So let's take a look at mine. I'm saying that I love ice cream. Now, I love ice cream because you can add different toppings, because there are so many flavors, and because it's refreshing on a hot day. All right, well that just about wraps it up for our lesson today. I hope you're all doing well. And I'll see you all soon. All right.